if you found this video, you're probably looking to make your Instagram style consistent, but you're not really sure why you are doing it. Say what? A few days ago, I watched this video from Sean Tucker talking about editing colors inside your Instagram photos. And he talks about you should have a certain colors inside your photo and also you should mute out the colors that you don't want in your photos. So I think that was a very good video. If you want to check it out, I'll link it down in the description. But basically, he told us why you should have a consistent Instagram style is because if let's say someone wants to hire you as a photographer and they went to your Instagram feed and they saw like blue photos then after red photos some bright photos some dark photos so when they want to hire you they're not sure which photographer they'll get on that day so maybe they'll get that blue bright photographer maybe they'll get the red dark photographer on that day they are not sure so you want to give them a certain predictability and also consistency to what they are getting because they are paying for something so I would like to go more in depth about being predictable to your customers but if you just want to learn how to edit photos so that you have a consistent Instagram feed on Lightroom, just keep to this time. Great, you are still here. I recently read a book called E-Myth, Why Most Small Businesses Don't Work and What To Do About It. If you don't know about me, I'm actually from an engineering background. I kind of quit like three years ago and then I went to pursue digital marketing. I'm currently inside digital marketing for three years already. And I found this book really interesting because it talks about how businesses should have systems and guidelines inside the whole ecosystem for their employees, uh, for their machines and everything so that it delivers a consistent experience to the end user or the customer. One example that they keep on giving out was McDonald's. If you realize right, in McDonald's, if you go inside and see their kitchen, it's not made of a bunch of really high discipline chefs, but they are just normal people working following systems and rules and timers and things like that. But then if you eat McDonald's in your current city versus you travel like three hours to a new state and eat the McDonald's there, let's say order double cheeseburger or what the double cheeseburger you have in your city and the double cheeseburger that you have at another state tastes exactly the same in comparison let's say you have a burger stall in your house right you're not really sure what day they open and the whole branding of the stall is different the stall may be yellow color but the wrapper is a white color don't even remember what the stall name is right but it's totally different experience from mcdonald's if i go there i pay this certain amount of money i know exactly what i am getting and this doesn't hit us immediately, right? Because when we think when we want to buy something, we always think about the quality, how good is the product, but we never think about the consistency and then the predictability of getting that product. So what am I trying to say here? On Instagram, when someone is deciding whether they should follow you or not, it's not just about the quality of the photo, but they'll scroll through your feed and try to figure out what kind of updates you give them. Are you going to give them consistent, predictable updates or are you going to just upload a bunch of photos one week and then the other photo totally goes silent. Branding an Instagram profile is really highly related to branding and marketing and a big part of that is giving your end user a consistent and predictable experience. Now full disclaimer here, I'm currently working on this myself. If you go my Instagram feed, sometimes I upload this kind of photo, sometimes I upload that kind of photos. I know I'm currently working on it myself so part of doing up this video is just to document my journey to doing that all right so with that let me show you how i edit a bunch of photos i took in a cafe in lightroom so that they have the same consistent color all right we're now in adobe lightroom and these are a couple of photos that i've taken in a cafe first i'm going to go into the first photo and apply a certain preset from a previous photo editing at batu caves just as like a starting point but right now what i want to do to this photo first is to adjust the straightness of the photo so i'll go into here i'm going to find some straight lines inside the photo and i'm going to draw them across to make the whole photo straight and yeah 
that is pretty straight for me there are some highlights that is totally blown out so i'm going to adjust the tonality first i'm going to drop the exposure here and maybe the exposure i'm just going to go into 0.4 will be okay for me all i think is pretty okay for the color i wanted my style to be something like a very light teal and orange kind of feeling so to do this i'm going to go into the hsl tab which is under this thermometer here and then go into mix so according to the Sean Tucker video, it is not just about the colors that you see in the photo, but also about the colors that you don't see in the photo. So right now, I'm going to go into like magenta and also purple to drop the color totally. And then we're going to make somewhat like the orange and also the teal or the turquoise area pop up a little bit. For uh, yellow, I'm going to try to desaturate that completely. And also the red, let's try to desaturate it by a lot and let's see where that goes i'm going to desaturate it by 40 because yellow is also part of orange i'm going to bring up luminance up to 30 yeah and then there is a little bit of green so in the original photo there's like greens in the background and again because you don't want any other color other than teal and also orange so i'm going to try to minimize the green here by desaturating it by quite a lot i think i'm going to go with 82 there but if i want to bring it up a little bit by luminance is also okay so right now you see there is very good teal in the background here and also orange let me see if there's any other color inside this photo i don't think so so i think that's okay so right now to just spice things up i'm just gonna go ahead and apply a radial filter here and i'm just gonna up the clarity for this one just to make the food as the center of the attention and then also bring up a little bit of the exposure and yeah i think that does it so what i'm going to do is i'm going to copy this settings and i'm going to go over to the next photo and i'm going to paste this whole setting over okay so you see it, it is already consistent right in this photo there's not really a lot of teal inside it so i'm just going to go in and add a little bit of teal by going into the split tone so to go into the split tone you go into this uh, clarity section press split tone and because i want the teal to come out from the plane and the mask anything that's near white color so i'm going to adjust uh, the highlights to teal so i'm going to push it uh somewhere to around teal here and then i'm going to up the saturation so you see if i push it all the way the highlights will be totally in teal so i don't want it to be that much very subtle maybe 18 that is fine and so if you see right now if i scroll through in between these two photos you can really see in terms of the colors they are definitely there uh probably the teal is a little bit too much here so maybe instead of 20 let's go ahead and change it to 10 183 10 yeah and we have i think two very identical photos and let's go ahead over to my portrait here and then place the same preset as well okay so immediately we see when we paste it on my skin here my skin become overly saturated so let's go ahead and make some adjustment here to the orange itself I'm going to try to desaturate it so that it looks a little bit more natural. Yeah, something like that. And then there is not enough teal here. So I'm going to need to increase the luminance on the teal here. And also the saturation on the teal here just to make it pop yeah so right now we're having a little bit still going on there and i think the highlight is a little bit blown out as well so i'm going to go ahead and drop it the exposure i'm going to drop it a little bit as well okay, and then we're going to go ahead and add a radial filter right over my face here the main subject of the whole image and we're going to add a little bit of clarity there and perhaps a touch of exposure probably at 0.1 and i'm happy with that so as we scroll through our three photos you can see that they are pretty consistent in terms of color there's only that orange brown color and also that teal color so yeah and there you go we have four quite consistent photos for us to post up on Instagram. All right, and that is all for this video. I hope you guys learned something today about like why you should have a consistent Instagram style and how to do it in Adobe Lightroom itself by editing the HSL tab to manipulate the colors so that some colors show up and some colors don't show up. This channel is gonna mainly talk about mobile photography and 
to be honest i'm i'm into digital marketing and into going through life in a special way taking the road not usually taken i'm all about experiencing life to the fullest just because i know one day i won't be here on earth anymore i'm just really here to absorb everything life can offer to me i really don't want to take anything comfortable i don't want to take the comfortable route i don't want to be numb towards life i want to experience it to the fullest and i found out that by taking the road less taken by doing things that other people are scared of but it's actually perfectly safe like for example talking in front of a camera or trying digital marketing when you have an engineering background these are things that just like really makes me feel alive all right okay and that will be all for this video hit like if you learned something subscribe if you're into mobile photography and if you dig whatever direction this channel is going to and i'll see you in the next video bye bye Okay, let me drink some water first. Ah.